what do we mean by holding period return in a bond? So holding period return, this is the formula that we'll be using. But before we go to the formula, let's understand holding period return is also known as one period rate of return. This can be calculated daily, monthly, annually, etc. So exactly what is the formula, how we can calculate holding period return is price gain or loss during the holding period. That is basically the difference between the price of the particular investment into a current period minus price of the uh, particular the same product uh, at the time of the beginning of the period so difference will be your profit or loss plus coupon coupon is the interest that you have earned uh, for this duration the whole divided by price at the beginning of the holding period so this is the way we calculate our holding period return let's take an example so if you make an investment in a bond at thousand rupees with 100 as coupon payment and sell it for Rs. 1100, calculate the holding period return. So basically this is a very easy example where we see that at the end of the period when we are trying to sell this particular bond, what we are getting as an amount is 1100 rupees and the investment that we made for this bond was 1000 rupees. So basically there is a capital gain or there is a gain of 100 rupees. Plus, we have also received a coupon of 100 rupees. So your total earning from that these, this investment is 100 plus 100, that is your 200. And we divide it by 1000 rupees, that's the price we uh, incur to buy this bond. So 200 divided by 1000 is 0.2 or 20%. So your holding period return in this case is 20%. Now let's take another example. Here you have uh, invested thousand rupees just like in is it's the continuing example so thousand rupees is the purchase price of the bond and you're selling this bond let's say for 850 rupees earlier it was 1100 rupees now it's 850 rupees and 100 is your coupon payment so what is your holding period return now if you see you have made a loss of 150 by selling this bond at a discounted price but you have gained 100 rupees as a coupon but minus 150 plus 100, you have overall loss of 50, that is negative 50. Your investment was 1000, hence your holding period return is 5% or 0.05. So this was the concept of holding period return.